You're watching the 2024 SCAC Fall Media Days. Today, we're taking a look at the Texas Lutheran University men's soccer program. Bulldogs will be led once again as they head into the season under the guidance of head coach Eddie Salazar, along with leadership from senior goalkeeper Noel Pena. Coach Noel, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Russell. Thanks for having us. Coach, heading into your 19th season there as the head coach of this TLU Bulldogs program. This is a program that I know you take so much pride in, not only having played there, but now, as I said, being the head coach for going into your 19th season. What's the biggest development in terms of growth that you've seen with your program that you've been able to take uh, over these course these past 18 years? What, what are you most proud of with the growth of this program? And, and ultimately, you know, how excited are you to finally be back uh, at the start of a new season and getting ready to head into this year? Yeah, this is any you know, start of any season, you know, definitely excited to see where the, what's going to unfold. Obviously we, we don't know what's going to be in front of us. We know what we want to accomplish, but at the end of the day, um, that excitement comes through, obviously, you know, the anticipation of what's ahead of, you know, potentially what's not ahead. But the, uh, the big thing for me, whenever I keep talking about this group, particularly over the past, you know, four or five years, um, is that more and more we're continuing to see the level of person and, and mentality that that we keep pushing to become. And uh, obviously that starts with with the guys who were who were here before and and passing stuff on to, to the guys that are currently here um, who are taking things to the next level. And they're they're taking all the feedback to heart and they're putting their own spin on it. So as the years go on and we keep having that sort of uh, rhythm and, and routine for our guys, you, you start to see the evolution of, um, uh, you know, just a group of guys um, as a whole that understand what it takes to uh, to compete and and put their put themselves in position to you know to win and 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 find their success. Well, coming into this season, this is a group that is coming off an outstanding twenty twenty three campaign. Uh, you know, best uh, team in program history in terms of winning percentage tied for the second most wins uh, in a single season and TLU program history, a group that was ranked as high as 16th in the country last year. There's so many things uh, positive with this program coming off of last season. You know, how excited are you to be back uh, with this group coming into the, to this preseason? Uh, and how does, you know, kind of the successes of last year help continue to motivate and, and build that hunger for this team coming into 2024? No, for sure. I think um, last season is something to definitely be proud of. Um, it's a good guide uh, for us returners um, to look back on, but I don't think it's something that we can um, necessarily use to a certain extent for this season. Um, obviously, with new dynamic, new challenges, um, new set of uh, incoming guys, um, it's a different season. And so we know that as a, as a group, and um, we're looking to – um, to write our history for this year and um, hopefully have another great season. Coach, this you know time of the year preseason is so valuable and uh, there's such a short uh, time of the season to kind of bring this group in and try and get them prepared to start the year. But when you have a veteran group like, like you do that's coming off the success that they have had, how does that help kind of set up uh, the, 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 this portion of the season and, and preseason? And what are some things that you're really focused on really working on with this group, kind of understanding their strengths and maybe – trying to hone in some of those things that, that they could maybe get better at coming into the year to make them uh, as ready as possible in 2024. Yeah. Um, I think we spoke last year about um, even though we were fairly junior heavy, if you want to call it that way, you know, we have obviously the two classes of the super seniors and the, um, you know, and the true seniors. Um, <clears throat> we, we, are, we, we talked about leadership last year and, and talking with Jack about that. And, and, and these guys have done a, a very good job you know, of that. And uh, I don't th think really things are going to change too much whenever we talk about um, what what we feel is, is going to be one of the strengths of our team. And so, yes, we have a lot of older guys and we have good experience. Um, but as you know, Russell, you know, as a former player and everything, and every season's a new season. And e e we can anticipate this and we can anticipate that. But the reality is that we just got to make sure that we we find that rhythm that we were able to establish early last season um, in order to get ourselves just, um, you know, building into the season so that we can continue to evolve with the season. 
So, you know, that's where we're at right now. We're building. And, um, you know, that's that's what we do. Our coaching staff, I feel like we we do a good job to to keep our communication and, and, and keep um, keep everything open so that we can flush through things as, as heavily as possible. And, you know, and that and that's not just the coaching staff, but that goes from the top down. Our leadership team, our two captains, Noel and Jack, again, always, always assessing and, and trying to find what we can do to take ourselves to the next level, just because we do understand that last year was last year and it doesn't really mean anything to us except for being a reference point to be able to keep learning and, and you know, building off of what we do. So, um, yeah, we might seem like we're starting a little bit further down the road, but again, we still have a long way to go. We still have a long way to go to, to develop, you know, continue to develop the, the leadership and uh, the trust and everything that comes with um, any successful organization. Well, coach talks about those reference points and you look at your career, you have some really, really strong reference points coming off an outstanding uh, campaign in 2023, uh, nine and a half shutouts. Uh, that's the most uh, in a single season for this TLU program. You've got a career uh, 0.62 uh, uh, goals against average, which currently is best uh, in terms of program history. Uh, second team, all SEAC performer a year ago, you know, where is your confidence level at right now individually as, as you've started to stack some really impressive seasons back to back uh, coming into to this year's senior year? And, you know, just from a defensive uh, group as a whole, what are some things that this group is continuing to work on? And, and what do you think the, the, the heights of this defense will be coming this year? Yeah, I think um, coming off last season, the confidence um, level is there. Um, obviously, we've talked about as a team, uh, we can't get too high on the highs and too lows on the, uh, on the lows. And so, um, just keeping that that middle ground um, when it comes to the confidence level, and then um, obviously with all the accolades and and the records, and um, I I would say it couldn't be done without the guys in front of me um, for sure. Just the work they put in for the ninety minutes, um, but it all just comes from the work that we put in in the in the off season, and then coming into the season throughout the summer. Um, that's for sure. It's one of our uh, staple that we have and. And I believe um, that's going to kind of help us um, along with this season. Coach, you know, coming into this year, um, for folks that are, are starting to learn about this TLU team, what are some specifics about this group that you want people to know? What do you love about this team? This is a veteran team that you talked about. It's got some great leadership. But what are some attributes and qualities, whatever it might be, as you describe this version of the TLU men's program uh, that you're excited about and that you want other people to know uh, when they watch this team play? Yeah. Um, first and foremost, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to compete. We're going to fight, uh, you know, within the rules in, of, of the game and being able to, you know, have this group really gravitate to the messages over the years and, and see how they play out. Um, whether there's, there's chaos or, or whether there's, or it's a little bit, you know, a little bit more smooth, um, uh, regardless the, these guys know how to compete. They know how to win. Um, and whenever the fans are watching them, they're, they're going to see that they have a certain way in which they do it. That's, that's the biggest thing that I, I can talk to people about. I actually just had a, a conversation with our older guys yesterday about um, the pride in which I can speak to family members, friends who are asking about the season and the expectations and the excitement and all that stuff. And um just kind of letting them know that it's very good to be able to speak about them the way I can speak about them. I don't need to fabricate anything. Um, everything is very real. And it's all because they, they've, they again, they've been able to, to take the messages, process, digest, and actually, you know, carry things out. So, you know, so it's not just words on the wall that we have that it's just about, hey, we want the discipline and the this and that. I mean, it, it, you can see it. And and for all of those that that were able to follow us, uh, last year and the years in the past, um, I think that's probably the biggest thing because at the end of the day, we're representing Texas Lutheran University. We're representing our, our men's soccer program, which people take pride in. And so uh, we want to make sure we're doing the best that we can. And that's the that's the biggest thing with these guys is that, you know, again, their, their level of discipline while they are fighting hard, while they are competing, um, it, it is all very, very real and, and it's very good to see. Um, and that's, that's the expectation going into this year. I mean, there's nothing really that's going to change from that, but it definitely from the fan standpoint, they will be, they will be entertained and, uh, uh, cause these guys obviously work very hard.
Noel, as we wrap things up with you, as you've had uh, some conversations uh, and some discussions with some of the other leaders on this program, some of the other classmates coming into this season about some of the goals and expectations with this group heading into 2024. What have those conversations looked like? And ultimately, you know, what is going to be key in order for this group to reach those expectations and goals you head into the year? Yeah, so I think uh, one way we kind of define success is progress. Um, that's something huge in, in this program and the culture that we've created. Um, so it's kind of just going to be a game by game thing for us um, to measure our success. Obviously, um, winning is important, and that's something that we are. Um, that's the goal every game, every every time we step onto the pitch. Um, we're going to play hard through the 90 minutes. Um, and if it has to go beyond that, it goes beyond that. But um, something that that we um, have seen is just game by game um, and that progress that we we go through each game um, is kind of the biggest thing um, for us as a team to to define that success. And finally, Coach, as we wrap up with you, I'm, I'm sure just hearing Noel well talk about that, I would imagine it brings a little joy. But when we talk about – you know, success. Obviously, in our world, success can be measured in so many different ways. And clearly, you've been having that message with your players and hearing Noel's answer. So when you speak to success, when you talk about that with your student athletes, what is that message that you really try to deliver? And, and ultimately, this season looks successful if what plays out on the field over the course of the week for this game. Yeah, well, he stole my thunder because <laughs> that's the uh, that's the message. That's the message. And, and that's the truth. That's our truth. And so when it comes down to it, um, all we need to keep doing is showing progress. We have to show progress daily. We have to show progress weekly. Uh, and we need to show progress over the entirety of the season. And so, you know, for us, again, to continue to take our steps, um, we have to tidy up the discipline. We have to tidy up the leadership. We have to tidy up, again, the initiative that we take. And we have to ultimately tidy up the, the concentration that's going to put us in the moments to, to be able to execute whenever, um, you know, whenever it's required. So, um, there, there's really, <clears throat> there's no secret to it. Uh, we're all on the same page. We're moving in the same direction. Don't know if it's the right one, but that doesn't matter because we're, we're moving in the same direction and that direction is progress. And everybody has that on their mind. Everybody understands, you know, what it means to be able to accomplish that every single day, not an easy task. Everybody understands that as well. So, um, you know, that success again, it's going to be, it's going to be ugly. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be joyful. There's going to be a lot of emotions that get wrapped around that. But at the end of the day, uh, like Noel said earlier, if we can stay in that, that middle zone so that we can stay functioning at a good high level, um, we're very confident that we will continue to see progress. Texas Lutheran University head men's soccer coach Eddie Salazar, along with leadership from senior goalkeeper Noel Pena. Again, the Bulldogs open up the 2024 campaign at home when they take on Texas Dallas on August 30th. Coach Noel, thanks so much for your time today. Best of luck as you head into the season. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, Russell. Appreciate it, man.